Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. Now today we are up early at the store. It is late June and uh, we've got a little bit of field work to get on with. So I've popped up with the Massey and our little flatbed loader and I've purchased some more mineral feed because we need to get that in the um, robot feeder. Uh, I've only put, I think I only put like 2,000 litres in so we've got another 3,000 litres there. And I already had some lime and seed up here, uh, so I've finally taken that back because we've um, subsoiled and dug up our crop field. And uh, we now need to uh, get that limed and then get that stone picked. So uh, we've got a few little jobbies to get on with. Now will that hold enough? We'll put the other one on. Is there another one? Yeah, there we go. That should be safe. So we're going to get these back to the farm. We are going to, hopefully, spread a bit of lime. Make sure we pick that up. There we are. Shouldn't be too heavy. And, uh, yeah, we'll spread some lime. Then we shall come back and lease a stone picker. We'll do a bit of a stone pick on ourselves, mainly because we'll need to do some sort of looped headland, at least for a worker. Then I'm going to stick a worker on that. And then we'll uh, unload the rest of this and uh, we'll see how our worker is doing and then we'll uh, see what's left to do on the farm today. So we've got a little bit to do. Now I'd like to take this opportunity um, to thank everyone that's joined the channel recently uh, with Maple Farms coming out on console and being released in the mod hub. Uh, we've had a little bit more traffic, which is absolutely brilliant. That means people are playing or interested in playing this wonderful map by Cavalier Roy. Uh, so yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. Some of you will notice, and um, by now some may have even commented, that my map looks a little bit different from yours if you're only now joining. I am still running on an older version of the map because I've already updated my map once because I've been playing since version 1. Uh, at the point I recorded this, that was... Uh, 65 days ago I think my first um, map tour of Maypole was so yeah I've been going a while I've updated my map once already and had to uh, restart and catch everything up for the series and the differences for me from my last version to the new version wouldn't really be massive it's the starting equipment that's different and things like that unfortunately I at some point lost by uh, removable walls so I've got fences and mesh fences and stuff around mine I've put them up myself but other than that the rest of my I want to make sure I don't put nothing in there the rest of my map is exactly the same I've deleted a shed but if you've watched the series to get to this point then you'll know that I've deleted a shed so we're gonna off here which side is the lime would be on that side we'll move it around Because we'll do the lime spreading with the John Deere. Yeah, I've done exactly the same thing like a dumbass. We'll just back it up. Now, I believe I've left the spreader around here. I think it's around here with fertilizer in it. May or may not have emptied that fertilizer out. Oh no, that one doesn't take lime, does it? That was the thing why we had the lime left at the store. Okay, we're going back to the store. For sure I had a lime spreader. And uh, we're going to go get a lime spreader. So I've been and I've leased the Cavernaland Exacta EL. Uh, I've put the... Um, 300 litre extension on it so we've got a thousand litre capacity we've got a couple of lime bags we've only got the one field to lime so I'm hoping that's going to be alright it's going to be a right chore if we have to go back and get more lime because I don't think we've got any on the farm if we have that'll be over there with the fertiliser I did think about buying another one but I thought that's alright we've already got these two will be fine. 
Let's just uh, take that one off as well. So we should get a couple of fills out of them. They're both full, I believe. So uh, we've got 4,000 litres, because I think they're 2,000 litre bags. And if you are joining me pretty fresh on, um, with this is the pen. I've sold the horses, and uh, because I'm on an older version of the map, I can't delete my gate. So I've just, just recently actually, put a little fence around there and concreted it in, just to look like maybe a little storage area where we might dump stuff. Who knows? Might fill it with rocks. Always a possibility. There is a placeable rocks sail point. It's just like a, a rile a rile puddle, a rubble pile, <laughs> and uh, I could just stick that in there and sort of hide it within some features, so we just have a quick sell rather than having to uh, keep driving off to sell our um, rubble. Now, I think this has got a pretty decent width on it. The width is normally a little bit less with lime. But that is kicking that out like a beast. Which also means it's going to get through it mad quick. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that's, that's nuts. I was expecting that to reduce its width. Now it's not overly essential for the farm that the arable does well. I mean we're just doing it for straw. For bedding and for feed. But obviously the... Uh, the more straw we have, or the better crop yield we have, the uh, the more straw we'll get. So there are ups to it, but it's nice to uh, have the land proper, because at some point we may want to start doing uh, crops out of there f for sort of sales. So you're putting in maybe, um, are we close enough? Yeah, putting in like soybeans or some canola or something. Now we had barley in it before, but I'm thinking this time around, although we're getting the, the field ready sort of straight away, I'm thinking we might go for oats next time. Uh, we've put our barley in storage, but we could go for oats, um, which is planted early spring rather than uh, late in the year like we, like we will be, because I think we wouldn't be able to play, um, plant our barley until September. Whereas uh, oats will go in, um, I think, March. But then you can harvest the oats really quickly, hopefully, and then get another planting in for barley. I think that's the way around trying to do multiple crops in a year, although we still would be able to um, do anything with the barley until the following year. So it sort of pays out that you'd get three harvests in the two year space I think if I got that right in my head anyway it seemed like a viable way of doing it but we are getting through it like mad um, so yeah anyway I'm, I'm thinking about doing that so we're not in a crazy rush to get the field done but it's the only field we've got that needs anything doing to it we're waiting for our grass to grow another stage so then we can have a big old cut and uh, do some more silage some that will uh, keep for the cows and some to sell. We also need hay. We'll probably split our fields 50-50 silage and hay this time. I forget what the ratio was last time because we had to do the big reset so uh, I'm not 100%. I'm starting to think I should have just gone for a bigger spreader. I thought this was going to work out a little better than it has. Who knows, we might just do it. If there's a little patch that's not covered, it's not the worst thing. I want to try and uh, get as best a coverage as I can, or as good a coverage as I can. There you go, there's one of my new fences. If you've got version 3 and you've still got your walls up, you'll have a wall there. Now I did have a little look at some field prices as well um, earlier. 
some of them don't look unreasonable, I've got to say. The one over beyond our meadow, because that's our meadow there, but the next field along, that's about 80 grand, which currently isn't out of our region. Or well, ready or made sure the car, the car, the car, the tractor was in motion before I hit go. The car, that's brilliant. Definitely uh, isn't enough lime. God damn it. I thought I'd planned and everything. We'll check in one of our shed areas, see if we've got anything in storage. Getting better at the out cab driving, I think. Anyway, I'm negotiating that a lot better than I was before. And that's it. That's all we got. Right. Have we got anything anywhere? What I need is the store delivery mod so that I can have them come and deliver it for me, or to place a. Lime silo at the farm. There wasn't a lime silo or a lime cell point uh, installed. I haven't got one yet. So uh, there are some available. So perhaps I should just look into that. So I'm up the store and we've got another four bags on the back. That should be plenty for us. So we'll get that back and we'll finish off the spreading. But that was another reason as to why I didn't uh, disconnect the Massey and use the Massey for the spreading. Just because I, th just in case, not just because I thought, I was really hoping that was going to be enough. Uh, but just in case, and I know I want to move this in a minute anyway to load the uh, mineral feed once we're done. So, so there's a little bit of time in that way. Now that we do have the silos that we could place and we can fill with purchased lime, so maybe that could be a be a thing we do rather than just have a, a purchase point at the farm. A little bit of realism with it. Not that there's not realism in having a, a point at the farm. You know, you can always have a company that's coming and delivering and refilling and what have you. You don't see every waking minute of my uh, of my farm. Get that one off. There we are. Not that they need to come off, but it just you know makes a bit of sense. What we should be doing is picking them up and uh, pouring them in. But the wheel loader's not set up for that. And they're a little bit heavy to huff on our shoulder and get in. We're lucky that the store has uh, tools to get that on there for us. Let's get back to this spreading. We'll take a few more, a few more attempts. Sorry, us taken so long. I must do better. And we've sh shied away from uh, on-screen contracting since we had the balls up with the contracting. But whilst, well, I'm hoping the grass will be ready next month. But if it's not. We might have to do a little bit of uh, late summer contracting, early autumn. But we need that. We need that cut. Well, we've got enough now. I think I'll try and get all the bits. Close enough to that edge. Uh, overlapping. That'll be fine. So yeah, this is the field we need to pick. The beautiful stones from. I do love a little bit of stone picking. Marvellous stuff, as you're all aware of. After this one, I think one more fill and we'll be done. Waste a little bit. 
Yeah, one more refill. We'll have a nice dusting on our field. Like I say, then it'll be back up to the store to get ourselves a stone picker. Because I noticed uh, Cavalier Roy was kind enough on the version 3 release to give you a stone picker from the start and a subsoiler. So, uh, yeah, lucky you guys. I don't have one. Perhaps I should uh, gift myself one. No, we won't be doing that. release one. Always, probably. There may come a time when I want to, but I think by doing a lot of the uh, the grass, we don't really need uh, a stone picker, just for turning over a field every now and then. Hopefully, we shouldn't need it. Uh, I need to get better tools for doing just small stones. We've got that front roller, so we could do that, but the field needed, um, I'm sure it said it needed ploughing, so that's why it got ploughed, or subsoiled. Because after the, uh, the initial reset of the map, or version 2, the, uh, I forgot to, uh, plough it, whereas I ploughed it before, I think. Whereas this time I just went and cultivated, cultivated it and seeded it. For this time around. There we are. And now I've got lime I don't need. <laughs> right, we'll get this. Actually, I think we'll. Uh, they can have that line back at the store when I return it. So let's uh, head up to the store. We'll return this. They can keep that little bit of line. I'm not fussed. It's worth like 100 quid. So we'll drop this off in the returns. There you go, kind sirs. Have that. Make sure we get the tractor out. If not, they'll try and take it. Sure, they'll be grateful of us not cleaning it out. So return wonderbar. So next up, we want to be getting a stone picker. Now we've got a few um, extended versions of the stone pickers that I quite like, just because I can or I can do more or leave a worker to do more without having to worry about it. But I just I'm going to be getting one of these ones. But I just want to show you that if I come back, I found. Oh, where's it gone? Here, under Tony's mods, Tony here has made this, I think, especially for me. It's a stone picker. We can get at it with a 22 meter working width. Pulls all the stones in, into there. How crazy is that? That's what I'll be using when I play on that uh, big American Michigan map when well, i got a stone pick them fields but that is insane tony's mods to scorpio double xl crazy I mean, we're going to be using one that's not quite so insane it's the uh the scorpio xl it has a nine meter working width so the extension of the arms the arms would have been there it's just uh, extended out that far now we can change the capacity on it on it, on it, so uh, just holds a little bit more. Uh, so he's having to come back and worry about doing anything with it with a worker. Then, if we lease it, it is a big hit, it's like four grand. But convenience, I'm happy to do that for a change. That's why, when I have got money, it never lasts long because uh, I do convenience le loans and leases and uh, purchasing. Let's back ourselves up. We'll get that on there. We'll get you there. 
Now, I've said before, I might add um, manual attacks to this series. Just because I keep thinking about it when I'm backing up and doing stuff. And then, when I go back to Ube, if I've done a few of these before I go back to Ube, I then forget about the manual attach while I'm doing stuff there. So, uh, we might just bring manual attach over. It's no hardship for me, I quite like it. Now with this being such a monster of a stone picker, and with it costing so much, I may actually do this myself rather than pay someone to come and do it. Because it's costing us a lot of money. Um, I'm going to start further around I think. I was always going to do the start of it anyway. And with the lime, I can tell where I've been a bit easier. But I'm still going to give myself uh, a nice big fat headland. Just because it makes it easier. So to reverse that up a bit. Which I'm bodging up terribly. down. If you've seen me stone pick with the uh, the other more manual equipment before, you'll know that it never goes this smooth. <laughs> Certainly not this quick. I think that is another benefit to this mod that maybe it works a little bit quicker. It sure uh, sure makes it a bit more of an enjoyable task, though. I, I can't lie. When I'm stone picking like this, I'm pretty happy. It's when I'm. Uh, weaving about one of them little yellow ones like I've got a new baler on um, then I'm not so happy although we've sold and upgraded to one similar to this and uh, I think I've left the link to this mod on that episode but people may not have seen that or come across it so uh, I'll leave the link to this mod in the description for those that are interested in it but I would recommend going back and watching the Ube series. It's a bit of a slow burner, but we are making progress now. We're making money because I've decided to have a little bit more fun on that series, not be so strict on myself. Uh, we've collected a few collectibles, and uh, yeah, it's uh, working out quite nicely now. Now, there are collectibles on this map, and we've not picked any up, but we've not had the need to, to be fair. It's not something that's sort of been missing for us. Now we've got 2,029 litres. So we're going to go and find the debris crusher. I can't remember where that is because when I did all my fields and did a massive sale of them, I was a bit sneaky and I placed a quick sell point and then removed it. But this time we're going to have to deliver them just because we're playing by the rules. Now I'm pretty certain that the debris crusher is round the back of the store but via the uh, fuel station way, like this little track down here. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. We should have had a look on the map. I mean we've 
I plan on cutting the journey out, I could have had a little look and then uh, been a bit more confident. But I'm pretty sure. Silver at the back there. It is. I see it. I see it peeking. So we'll try and back ourselves in on there. That's the only thing we've just sort of concentrated on, doing the dairy and only having that one crop field that we're sort of using. Haven't been out and sort of sold anything. Although with this many episodes in and I think we're still maybe only on our second year. I think it feels like I've done so much more because I did that big reset a while back. Right. Sunload. Sorry, as usual, my coffee has given me indigestion. But I can't function without it. It's a love-hate relationship. So it's 300 quid back. <laughs> that may have paid for a worker if we got a worker. But we didn't. So, uh, yeah, it's a little reimbursement for us. So we'll take this back to the store. And uh, we'll get back to the farm. And I'll unload my uh, trailer. Then we'll see if there's uh, anything else to do next. Okay, so I was just uh, moving my bits around the farm, trying to make some space. Not necessarily make some space, but get this attached and sorted out so we could unload. And guess what I spied out of the corner of my eye? Three bags of lime. Would you believe it? I felt sure I had some. And I did. I was right, I was just looking in the wrong place. Well, now we've got bonus bags of lime. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get all of these with my wheel loader skills picked up. We'll see. Certainly not like that, I won't. Oh, that's not bad. I'll tell you what, I'll be happy with two. I think the other one's twisted anyway, so... That was probably as good as I was ever going to get. So at least I know where I'm going to put my lime. Now, we haven't used this wheel loader a lot. But I feel like I'm getting better every time. The, uh... Articulated vehicles aren't exactly my forte, as I've mentioned many times. Be it a tractor or a wheel loader, or anything else that might come articulated like this. So let's get that down. So, well, that was good. I impressed myself. You guys may not be impressed, but for me, that's pretty decent. try and get this bag somehow. The guys at the store weren't too friendly when they uh, put that on there for me, were they? You may have to muscle it off a little bit and then pick it up off the floor. That might be what we do. If we can give it a bit of a push. Oh, crazy physics. Who would have thought? Let's not make it hard for ourselves. Right. Oh, little stutter there. You know, had one of them for a while. Not that I've noticed. like that. I'd have to tell them they need to uh, load them up sideways on. If not, I can't get them off at the other end. Easy fools. I think I am Superman. Be able to pick that up and carry it. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge.
the Lumberjack mod is probably one of the most important ones for me. Just to try and make ease of being ready to do uh, episodes and things. Right. So the next thing we have is some seeds. I think we can get to that one. Possibly. Set the straps off. See if we can eke ourselves into that little space. seed goes over, surprisingly enough, by that cedar. I've already got two bags of that. Oh, I've got about one and a half. Right, sit yourself down, lad. Don't worry about me. Here we go. Right, we'll take the load around by the cattle shed, and then we'll bring the pallets round. Now they might... Whoa! They might um, unload into the silo without having to come off. So I might try that first. But we've got the uh, the loader just in case. Back that way up. That's for milk, in case you're wondering. And uh, we are producing milk, so uh, we'll have to give that a check. As I say, 10,000 litres of milk. We have got 22,000 litres of slurry by the looks of it, which is a lot. And our mineral feed has nearly run out. And we've got 16,000, nearly 17,000 litres of manure. So, a slurry tanker and a small muck spreader may be on the cards with our 105,000. That's got to be better than forking out every time for fertilizer. I mean we've still got some fertilizer and we can keep it in case we run out of slurry and muck. But I much prefer to be uh just checking that that's not full enough. Much prefer to be uh using that. Now I think I need to put me straps on for that to register the weight. Then I'll be able to see if it's coming off or not. Although we can just watch and see if it is coming off easy. Now if we had a tank that was maybe for everything, we'd then uh, be able to fill it with uh, some of them pallets that we've got about. On the... oh actually, is that not what these are? This one is a fertiliser tank, this is for solid fertiliser, isn't it? back out and this one is for liquid fertilizer so we haven't got one for lime now I'm pretty sure way back when on old versions we used to have um, something for lime and I'm sure I'm just being blind in not being able to find a base game lime uh, cell point silo to fill from But we'll get this parked up. Put it away. Put it away, put it away, put it away now. Oh, 
Ooh. Easy, brother. Nicely does it, sir. Beautiful job. Right. Put the Massey away. I'm going to leave the farm tidy today. Rather than... I always leave... I don't actually. I think on this one I'm pretty good. And uh, putting things away as we uh, as we leave for the day. Now, we have been splitting the day into two. But as with uh, Ube, I think we need to be progressing a bit more. So today has been at times ten instead of times five. So we've got the whole day one video. I think dependent on the jobs we have on Maypole, that's how I'm going to run it from now. If I know we've just got a few things to do and a bit of pottering about, we'll do it times 10. If we've got a busy day, we'll do it at times 5 until we get super busy and then we'll jump to uh, 3 days uh, per month. I'll pop the class. I think I'm going to keep that in here for now. There's much more room for the two uh, big attachments. Let's pop that down. Turn it off. There we are. We are done for another day on the farm. Like I say, hopefully next time the grass will be ready to mow and we can get stuck into a bit more silage and a bit more hay. But until then, that is it. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. And again, if you're new, if you're old, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for your time. I appreciate every single one of you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.